message from Coach? Uh, nothing too uh, deep. Just it was, you know, it was a tough loss. We played well for most of the game, and they kind of, you know, had a couple runs there at the end of the game and um, third quarter and beginning of the fourth. And uh, you know, it's just one loss. You know what I mean? So it's just about bouncing back and going back home and taking care of home court again. You mentioned that fourteen-two run in the fourth quarter for them. So yeah. What was working for them, and what was making you guys? Uh, I think our offense got a little stagnant there for a second and, you know, they're capitalizing off rebounds, pushing the floor, um, you know, pushing the ball up the floor and, you know, they're hitting some threes. Timmy, Tim Hardaway hit some shots and Porzingis hit some tough shots and Brunson hurt us tonight as well. So they just kind of capitalize off our, you know, our stagnant movement and we're able to hit some threes. And sometimes that's all it takes is a run to, to get the job done. Another physical play tonight between Timmy and Mike Green and that being reviewed, do you feel like it's more physical this year than it has been in years past on the floor? Uh, no, I really don't. I don't because the ticky tack fouls they call are they still call the same type of fouls. You know, I mean, the the, the one thing they've done is they they've taken away the three, you know, the and one threes that guys were getting when they're just stopping behind the screen or they're putting them on their back and flopping. Which I'm glad they've cleaned that up, but now everybody's taking that and. Like, oh, man, the NBA is very, very physical this year. It's not I, – I don't think it's that much more physical. I just think they've done a good job of cleaning up fouls uh, that were getting a little – getting in the way of the game of basketball. So I'm very happy with the non-calling on the three-point calls. It's, it's made it enjoyable to play defense again. It's, it's made it fun, and it's made it harder for guys to actually score those type of points instead of getting 18 free throws off, fooling the refs. You know what I mean? So I'm very happy about that, but I think the physicality is around the same. How easy is it then for you to slide in? It's very easy. It's very easy. It's not hard to play at the Jokic. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's a pass first big man. The best passer in the NBA. Um, should arguably the best player in the NBA. So it's not hard to play with someone like that. You know, you go out there and especially if you've been in those positions before, um, which I've had uh, a lot of experience playing with guys like him. So um, or big time players like him. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's fun. Tough is the Luca Porzingis duo to guard. Hmm. Mm. Mm. You know, Luca's tough. You know, he's very ball dominant. So you know, he's big. You know, he's he's got like the body of a wing and the weight of a wing. Um, so he's tough to guard. And, and then Porzingis played tonight. You know, he played when he's like that. Yeah, they're tough. You know, I mean, when when Kristaps was is in that type of form and he's aggressive and He's playing that way. They're they're tough because uh, you know I mean I don't know what he had tonight thirty just under thirty points. You know he was he was huge for them. Go ahead, Mike Singer on the Zoom. Hey Austin, um, without making any excuses, is it tough not to get weighed down by the number of injuries that that are cropping up right now for you guys? No, I don't think so because we found a way to win games. You know what I mean? We won five in a row. You try to look at the. You know, picture, I think, ahead is the best way to do it. When you have so many games, the same way of what a guy thinks when he's struggling shooting. You know what I mean? There's so many more games. You just have to continue to just to lock in and, and control. Each night is a new night and a new fight of its own. You know what I mean? Where we go back home and we have Philly and Chicago. It's not like we have time to, you know, hang our heads or talk about who's injured and not. We got guys that have been waiting to play. I always tell everybody, you know what I mean? If you always – the guys who don't play always feel like they should be playing. That's every team in the existence of the NBA. Um, so when a guy gets hurt, it's the perfect opportunity to go out there and be what you would your words say. You know what I mean? So we got plenty of guys who are ready for that and can come in and compete. Um, but we got a couple guys banged up and just got to keep winning games, man. Just got to keep figuring it out. Esteban, go ahead. Hi, Esteban from Cordoba, Argentina. Hey, do you think one of the keys to Dallas victory was the defense over Denver's uh, second unit. What are you saying? You're saying the second unit struggled in defense? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, they made that run. They made that run, but I mean, it's not their fault, you know, but, um, you know, I, I've been on the other side of that. I've been in the second unit many times. And it's tough, you know, you come in the game and the momentum's already going and you got to figure out a way to be ready to play right then and there. Um, it's a tough role to be in. And, 
you know, tonight, uh, I thought our second unit was pretty, you know, solid. It's just, you know, they made a run. You know what I mean? They just, there were a couple of plays. Uh, like I said, the ball kind of got stagnant. And then when Tim hit those those couple of threes, it just kind of seemed like the momentum of the game changed right there. Because up until then, we had to lead the entire game. We were in control of the, you know, the game. We felt like this was a win for us that we, we could have closed. And then, you know, you kind of come in the game and the momentum's been changed. And now they're up five or six. It's just, it's uh, it was tough to turn it off at that point. So it's on all of us. Finish up with Mike Singer one more. Hey, Austin. Um, I know you're always in Mike's ear. Um, how, how's he doing uh, w- with his back injury? And, uh, you know, what are you, what are you telling him? Oh, man. Um, uh, yeah, I talk to him just about every day. Um, you know, just trying to keep his spirits up. You know, he wants to, to play well really badly, obviously, just because, you know, he, he loves the game first and foremost. You know, forget his contract and forget all that for one second. You know, this dude – whether he got paid 200 million or 2 million would, would approach the, the same way. That's what I love about him. Um, so I have no doubt in my mind he'll be back just considering how much he cares about his respect and how much he cares about his validation. You know what I mean? That's just like who Mike is as a whole. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know him too much information about it. You know, it's just kind of been that way. Uh, no one really knows what's kind of, you know, going on with that. We just know his back has, you know, has had some, some, some minor setbacks and, you know, whatever the process is, we'll be there for him. You know, he's he's 23 years old, man. He's he's just got to take care of himself and, and get himself right physically. And that way, mentally, he can come to the to the court playing the way that we know he could play. He was playing hurt this whole season. So it's it's hard to do that. And um, hopefully he comes back soon because he's a, he's a huge part of our team. Appreciate it, Austin. Thank you, guys.